There was a little boy named Tim when I was teaching in, in an elementary school in New York. I was there for 10 weeks, and he was a select mute. I, it's a classroom of 60 kids, 60 children, and it wasn't a music class. It was just an everyday classroom. And little Tim, I was told about Tim, and I, so I didn't really speak to him because a select mute, he hasn't spoken in public for three years. At home, yeah, but in public, never. So he's not going to respond with his voice like you just did, or movement. He's not going to do anything. The next, I was two times a week for 10 weeks, two visits a week for 10 weeks. The second visit, Tim came with a clarinet. So he found a way around it. He's not going to speak, but he's going to play the clarinet. Not so good, but you know. <laughs> so Tim was great for the next, you know, eight weeks. Tim was in on everything, and, and they learned 65 signs. I say there's over 1,200. And at the end of that period, um, I would, had a, a blackboard, would write maybe 25 or 30 gestures, and ask each child as they came up to work with the class, to make a sound painting with the class. I would say to the child, choose two gestures and then make a sound painting for a minute. Then another child, you know, another child, so forth and so on. It came to be Tim's turn. And he comes walking up. The teacher's like sitting over here. And he comes walking up. And I said, Tim, what would you like? And he said, oh, I'll take minimalism and pointillism. <laughs> and the teacher went. <laughs> so nobody had been able to, to do anything with Tim for all these years. Why did it happen? I'm not a psychologist, a psychiatrist. I don't know. But I think that the creativity is something that we all share equally. I don't believe in genius. If you ask Charlie Parker, a great saxophone player, they say, oh, you're a genius. No, he said, if practicing 16 hours a day is a genius, then I'm a genius. You know? So what, what opened up Tim? I don't know. But I know one thing is that I never asked him to be anybody but himself. He wasn't trying to to play a part in the Shakespeare play or trying to audition to play Beethoven's Fifth. Sound painting works with who you are. There isn't, you're not going to be fired. <laughs> <Thank you. Okay. laughs> I'm not going to give you the Toscanini too, where Arturo Toscanini would fire you right when he was performing. You have two weeks notice. You know, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> in sound painting, the, Sound painters work with what you give them. So, I mean, the way you're seated here, seated here, or if someone is standing like this, you know, uh, for example, Jennifer, stand like this. So, say Jennifer is standing like this, and we're in a classroom situation, and we want to use this. Like, it's a child that is just not going to accept what's going on. This is too weird. This is too something. I'm not going to do this. How do we break that wall? Like what happened with Tim. So here's Jennifer, she's the child that doesn't want any part of this. How do you break into that? It's really simple. Just tell the whole group to synchronize. So. Now you too, right? Now I've done this before. Now what happens is then I say, hey look Jennifer, look everybody's doing what you're doing. You know, and then all of a sudden, Whatever this was that closed the doors opens the doors. And they realize something so simple as crossing their arms <laughs> um, is, is very visual and very effective. You know, it's, it's something that gives, something that can be created and used as, as part of the composition. So, uh, this language is growing. There's many people using it around the world. It's only been since 1974 that, that I first created it. I, uh, I am, I'm, I'm out there with other sound painters. I'm working in, yesterday I worked with audiologist in Jonstorp. They called me early in the morning. They said, can you come give a lecture? I said, yes, I'd be happy to. So I did a lecture for audiologist. You know, now I'm here working with TEDx. And, and so it's, it's sound painting, is, it's a language. It's anybody out here can use it. It's, it's, it's a language for people to foster creativity. Thank you.